In this essay, Radha Krishnan discusses the problems of India after independence and lays stress on the balanced growth of the individual through education. He proposes that the responsibility lies with universities for training the youth and to teach them to approach the problems of life with fortitude, self-control and a sense of balance which the new conditions demand. He cautions students to adopt a purpose in life, studying science and technology along with moral values and cultural works results in better intellectual training and independent thinking. Let's read further. Character is destiny. This maxim applies to individuals as well as to nations. We cannot build rightly with wrong materials. More than your intellectual ability or technical skill, what makes you valuable to society is your devotion to a great cause. The phrase character is destiny means that what you do with your life, the impressions which you present to other people paves your future. It is that which determines what you will achieve in your lifetime. Life is about who we are and what we do. It's your behavior that will make people respect and trust you. Humans by nature love to make friends with people they can trust. Your way of life will bring people towards your life. Your destiny becomes better by what you put in it. It is not just about how your palm reads, but by how you interact with other people and the way you make them feel. It is your character that will enable you to gain public trust and be recommended for higher positions. When you invest in your future and are committed to what you do, you shape the future and reap the fruits of your efforts even though there may be some ups and downs. Those who work harder and smarter pave the way for their success and their efforts don't go unrewarded. Those who hover around without investing in the future don't go anywhere in life. There is no magic wand to success but rather Life itself gives us in proportion to what we put in. The future belongs to those who believe in the power of their dreams. Radha Krishnan says we need the right material and a deep foundation to make a tall and strong building. Here, the building is a metaphor for character. It is not the individual character he is talking about, but the character of a nation. And the character of the nation will be determined by the overall advancement in our eagerness to commit ourselves 
to a greater cause, a selfless service, along with our intellectual ability and technical skill. The selfless service again implies the morality and integrity of character individually and wholly. We have great natural resources, intelligent men and women and if in addition we learn to work together with pride and spirit of dedicated in the sacred cause of rebuilding our country, no one can prevent us from achieving our goal. Our future destiny as a nation depends on our spiritual strength rather than upon our material wealth. Nayam Atma Balhinen Labhyati The goal of perfection cannot be achieved by the weak, not the weak in body, but the weak in spirit. Atma Nishtha Janita Virehinend The great asset of a nation is the spirit of its people. If we break the spirit of a people, imperil their future, if we develop the power of spirit, our future will be bright. To start a movement of change, citizens, leaders, elders, youth, women and men of our country must come together and hold productive conversations on changing the conditions of our country. They can start a process to create a powerful vision of what they want their nation to be and they can create a citizen supported plan to realize their vision to put an end to misrule the systemic division of state resources and human rights abuses it is not an easy undertaking the country needs to maintain peace and security by bolstering finances and restructuring debt, gaining the confidence of the markets. It has to have an open and vibrant press and restore justice. In a country that has been mismanaged for so long, the list of things that need to be done is overwhelming and all of them are urgent. The government must prioritize and ensure effective governance practices in order to turn the hopes of the people and their vision for the country into reality. There should be openness between the citizens and the government for a dialogue to bring about effective change. The civil servants should be empowered to challenge decisions 
analyze alternate policy options or refuse an order this would decentralize power and adapt to a more democratic rule there should be consultation and communication about progress along with zero tolerance for corruption the focus should be on empowering youth through creating jobs and improving education improving agriculture improving tourism and improving infrastructure and in particular access to electricity and health the government should follow the 5 p's prioritize because if you try to do everything at once you will achieve nothing set the policies including based on international experience develop detailed plans introduce performance management systems to track progress and solve bottlenecks and finally ensure you have the right personnel in place to lead these efforts but for any assistance to properly succeed it cannot come in a piecemeal or untargeted way it needs to be coordinated and aligned with the country's own national development plan and priorities